the navigation pane on the left hand side has some nice improvements too. This can be minimised to remove it out of the way and maximise my real estate on the screen for doing my work. But it's easy to return to at any point. I can click the menu, the nickname the hamburger menu, to see the main list, list areas that I might want to work with. These are configured for my role centre. So at the moment I'm a bookkeeper. So these are the list places within the home activity button on my navigation pane for this specific role centre. If I wish to see the other activity buttons, I can simply click the drop down and I have either my posted documents or the other activity buttons that are configured for this role centre. So if I switch to posted documents, I have the list of the posted documents that link to this role centre and I can choose them quickly and easily. So now I can see the posted sales invoices. I can return immediately back to the role centre just by clicking the home button and it will take me back to the role centre page. There's no need to choose the home activity button first and then role center like there was in the Windows client. The system remembers my most recent choice. So for example, if I collapse the navigation pane and then I choose to sign out. So if I then sign back in, it's remembered the choice that I made with the navigation pane menu collapsed. So I can go quickly between any of these activity buttons to see the menu that it offers me. I can return to home at any time. This home button on the top left works whether I'm in expanded view and takes me back to the role centre or if I'm actually working in collapse view as well. It will still operate the same way and take me straight back to my role centre. Now these activity buttons that we see on the little drop down arrow here, these are just the same as in the Windows client where I've got them down underneath the navigation pane. They've simply been moved into a nice compact menu when we work in the web client. And what you find is when you're in one of those activity button menus, it tells you the menu that you're in and then gives you the list of list places underneath it. We can use the upwards arrow to show the list of activity buttons. When we choose one, we'll be then offered the list place within it. If we click the downwards arrow, we can then make a choice of a different activity button menu. The activity buttons that I have available will depend on which role centre I'm currently using. So here I'm using the bookkeeper role centre and I have these four activity buttons available to me. If I was in a different role centre, I would see different activity buttons available here. For example, if I change my role center by going to my settings, change my role center to purchaser, say OK, it reminds me I need to sign in. So I have to sign out and back in. So I sign back in now, and I have that new role center applied for a purchasing agent, and I have a different set of activity buttons available to me each offering list places configured for my current role center. I'll just try one more. So if I go and have a look at the warehouse related role center, warehouse worker, say okay. Reminds me I need to sign out and back in to actually see the changes. So if I sign out and then sign back in, here I'm now in the warehouse worker role center and I have different activity buttons offering me list places that relate to my role center. 